today the 22nd of December 2014 today be Monday today being 3 30 p.m. we out here for Sid Perica and we speaking to Kavita Dean and her family members and other members of the community who are in solidarity with her because of what the NDC did the chairman of the NDC in particular a guy that they refer to as Jayo I don't know if he is some dark millionaire you know the songs Jayo Jayo some dark millionaire this is the area basically uh, Perica facade is a lot of people that squat in this land for many years like 50 over 50 years and we're gonna visit many of the homes here and you're gonna notice a marking on the walls of the homes in red a PF number I understand this area was scheduled to be regularized by the Ministry of Housing Minister Housing Mohammed Ali and his right hand uh, Charles they were supposed to regularize this area so I understand uh, the Ministry of Housing went in here and uh, identify those houses that was built on this uh, reserve for a number of years as a result they gave them a number so I believe this uh, plot of land I'm standing here the house that was erected here that was broken down on Thursday had a number there was a house over there also which we didn't we, we didn't uh, was informed about but also that house was broken down too so the three houses was broken down on Thursday last and we're going to speak to the residents here they're going to tell us how they're affected and what representation they're receiving from their uh, geographical member of parliament Komal Chan and Bibi Shadik that's responsible for region 3 area here and we're going to find out what the RDC Mr. Faber chairman of the RDC region 3 is doing about this Ministry of Local Government Ministry of Housing we're going to find out if any one of them of these authority visited these people and what is the situation out here presently so you're going to speak to the owner of the property Kavita Kavita and you're going to give us an update since um, the building broken down on uh, Thursday uh, what was the follow-up I know you visit Channel 6 uh, you had an interview with me you visit Kaichu News and I think uh, uh, Capital News yeah. but you doing your part to highlight what happened to you here which is injustice what the authority did in terms of uh, seeing what representation or system they could give you what they did so far nothing Nobody. Nothing? Yeah, nothing? Nobody didn't call you? No. You have a telephone number if they want yeah. to get in contact with you? What yeah. is your number? 697-1649-617-3656. I'm speaking about Ministry of Housing coming into this area some time ago and a lot of a number to yeah. these houses. Your house was given a number? 34. Your house is 34. PF 34. And what um, that official said to you? What was the reason of giving you that number? The, um, Miss Ra said that you got to get your ID card because you might get the land, they might regularize it, and um, you might get it for buy from them. So with that, with that hope, with that number, with that hope of regularization by the Ministry of Housing, many people went into the pocket, deep into the pocket, even borrow money from other relatives, and they start to construct something permanent. Yeah, because, because most people had shock here and yeah. most people start to construct something more permanent with, with concrete columns and wood and and something of that nature your building was almost concrete yeah we've seen uh, your family relatives friends sitting around this plot of land here it is a slab that your house stood I think you said the house was uh, 20 by 30 yes uh, when you started this construction I started in um, October month of 2014 yeah and you get to live in this house i live in this house like two weeks because it takes time on bill a little bit little bit to build it and it and costs you a lot of money it costs me five million for bill and furnish no they're just the building alone so what furniture you had in this building i had um gas stove two bed but me I had no set but otherwise in the all furnish all everything that you think that the household so when you when you visit me and vice the people program in georgetown you said you had also shortly before the building was demolished you had some three hundred thousand yes, that you withdraw from I the had bank three hundred thousand dollars and it's missing from my wardrobe with two fine gold chains uh you report this matter to the police 
No, when I go from the day when I when I go to Freedom Hope, when I come back, I ask the police, I want to go and make a report. The police tell me, he, he called somebody from the phone and said that this girl coming to make a report and do, when she comes, they put her down on the bench. That is um, Officer Green or something like that, he name. I tell him, when I hear that, I say, me ain't going out because I got a little baby and he breastfeeding and I can't go because if they put me for sit down, they who will look you after. Right? So, uh, you didn't report to the police. You no. reported to the NDC, this guy Jayo, you said to him that your building had money in it. When they was demolishing the building, you, you said to them, this building have money, it have jewelry. No. That's when you start breaking down this building, I run out of the house and I catch a taxi and go to Brain Hope thinking that I can get favor to help me because favor is the one that will tell me don't um, leave me building and nobody can touch it. When I run to favor for help me, favor tell me, Jayo tell you shut him out and he can't help me. So, uh, because uh, I come back, everything mash up. Jay uh, Jayo in. being the chairman of the NDC. Yeah. The NDC is the lowest tier of government. They have different level of government, central government, regional government and local government which is the NDC Neighborhood Democratic Council. Now apparently this chairman of the lowest tier of government is telling the chairman of the regional authority, the regional executive officer and above this is the chairman of the, the regional democratic council Mr. Faber and this chairman of the low tier of government which is the NDC is telling Mr. Faber who is the chairman of the RDC he must shut up so who's this guy? You know who's this person? He have any political connection to the governing party? I don't know. Oh, and Mr. Favor say that this small chairman for this NDC tell he to shut, shut him, him out? out. Yeah, he can't say nothing and he can't do nothing. And he tell me he must go to town and read some sherry or something. And here when I find sherry, she tell me... Sherry from where? Um, a government apartment, but... Ministry of Housing? Yeah, some part there. It's Breakdown? Carry me there. Yeah, some way in breakdown area, but I don't know town really, and me really know exactly where I went today. It mm. may be Ministry of Housing. Yeah, but when I went, she tell me that it's right that they break down the building because they're living on a government parapet. And you know, she tell me a set of things, and I just lock the door and I come out and say, All right, well, yeah, can I help me? I can't help. So, what, what happened to all these other homes? And here? the way I actually, she, she said, um, Why you build there? I say, I build it because I live there. For 20 something years, which my parents are living did for you, you didn't say years. your ministry child went here and gave you a number and said the regular right Yeah, ministry? I tell she, she So said, the problem is, okay, we, we not up here for force the authorities to break down everybody building. We don't want to touch anybody building in the first place. Okay? They're supposed to consult with central government. And if I sure if I ask Mama Dali, the Minister of Housing, if you know, but they see me tell me no. So why are you scaring this young lady and you frightening her, you're putting fear in her mind? When the Ministry of Housing themselves went in this community and put markings on the house that they know that uh, was constructed a very long time ago with people living on this land for a very long time, they gave them rights, they gave them peace of mind, they gave them the, the, the belief and the assurance that this piece of land here will be a regular rise. Okay, so this, this portion wrong that you're receiving and basically is an abuse, okay, an harassment. Abuse. Uh, this should not, it should not, it should not happen. So the question is, why only these? I understand now is three. It had a little house down here, and where we standing, and this, and this, uh, this plot here where the house stood. Uh, this was one of the house. This is the second, and over there, there's also a, a male occupant who also say his own was demolished on the same day. I understand they brought some people, some junkie from somewhere and they gave them sledgehammer and they went about dismantling the building. This was the report we received Thursday. However, I could have made it here Thursday to get the actual footage. However, some residents here took footage from their uh, telephone uh, and we have those footage which we will show you. So it's an night pass, it's a night pass. Okay, so how you, the relatives and friends and family and other residents of Pretty Then we live in Farsaid, me get two chair me get How four chairs since seventy five. When we come here for yes. When we come here your chair bomb won't come over even they over the way. Right? Bush when they over this way and we build it for seven house place can we can live here. When them people when I build a little shack, what if all of them come the same time I tell them say they live for one they live for the land.
Then we go move out. They can't make one big, big house and then call no, no, and build. Well, it's it's a, what they call legitimate expectation. So don't go back to the idea of they coming when you had a little shack and telling you you should have moved. Yes. The, the, the fact is, is that Ministry of Housing come here and put a number here. That's the expectation. So no one could come back and say, the, or you should not say to yourself that when I had my little shack, I should have break it. Because they was telling you they're going to give you it. They was telling you they're going to give you it. So go ahead. I got a mother, I got a father. She got a child, she got a child father, child father, walk and get your money. Whatever she get and she build her house to inherit it. She not got no way to go watch her sleep on the ship. Yes, I understand. This is where the brothers, how many brothers they have? Five, the five brothers, yourself, and the two children are sleeping in that little tarpaulin pulling erected there. This is what I understand. So yes, tell me how you feel about this. We want we justice. Bad, yes, we want justice. Everything that is everything that the strife for the girl is every everything. But you don't have a fear who gonna be next. You don't yes, have a fear. Anyone, yes, anyone, 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 we can be well, there. So you have to stand up and speak up now. Yes, anyone, if they don't can speak out. Anybody could be next. This is what you got to cover, five yeah, yeah, yeah. five yeah. grown men. You know, so you is try. You got to try. The baby. You got to try. You got to try. Yes, let me hear from you. Well, we say we need peace. We want, we want peace. Of what? A land? They can look what happened here. It could happen to me the next. In this neighborhood. What do you mean that you need peace? Sense. Peace of what? We, we need, we want no trouble with nobody. We want to live a peaceful life. But you make, you're not making pipe, trouble with anybody. Look, the pipe run right down and we can't get water. So they don't give you our water now? Nothing, no, nothing. Like no light, no water, no nothing. Like the water. So there's no and light, no water. Right. In addition, they come and demolish your, your property. You believe right. they're doing this to you because you're poor people? Yeah, you don't exactly. have a vice? Right. Exactly. They believe? Because Exactly they said it. I too old. I can't pay for a lot. And my husband sickly, he can't do nothing. So I must live with my children. That is what they tell me. But this is Guyana, you're Guyanese, you're born, you voted. I, I, guess you, I guess you voted for the PPP. Right. Tell me how long tell me how long your young lady lives here. I live and make this house the next house. They can't the give me a number. We said the place is the local and they will give me um, something with it. And now they ain't giving me nothing. Break down your good, good house. Now let me hear from you. Yes, I'm living here for the past 15 years now, me and my wife and, and children. And it had. Want some little, little house in the place, and we the no road nor nothing was in the east, it was sheer mud, right? And nobody didn't come in saying they own no land in this place. I work on this road, here. I build this road, here. I work on this road. Here. I build so since this road done built, then people come in and claim land, who yeah, said that, that, that the land is them own. And this land eh, be, belongs to the government. And everybody in Guyana is citizen of Guyana. They entitled for a land. Yes. Right? By rights. And no no gov no, nobody is supposed to come and break no 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 house for no government property and, and own it. We is the government. Is we that put the government there. The people. What? Right? The people power. The people is the government the people put them there and this is totally nonsense what go on is i wasn't around when this thing happened i heard it when i come back i look the septic tank there i build a septic tank not even a month it break up i work on this house here for this for this young lady and i build in right across there and what i they, this this woman were coming owning saying that she own land she, she could say she gonna clear up the whole, whole neighborhood because she own everything, right? Okay, and right, she good. claiming that she gonna brock. Well, I will let her come and brock. She got land you understand? Here. All right, good. So, this day, so what I'm looking at here, the reports I receive is that 
an individual who is connected to this uh, neighborhood democratic council chairman Jayo uh, you see some relative straight in this direction I'm facing they see that that is her land they show, the, 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 the residents say show me pals a pal stick there and a pal stick there they say that this is our land. If you look straight here, the only thing you could see is jungle. Jungle. Okay, it's jungle. So this is what is the that is what is the ridiculous nature of this problem. It is unbelievable that a person who did not even come here and tend to this land, this plot of land that I'm facing here, that today they could claim that sometime in the future, the near future, they could come and, and start doing some work on that piece of land here. And when they do come their their passageway their entrance must be clear and the only thing that had obstruct them is this house here okay so this individual whoever is the individual you understand this thing the person is linked to the ndc chairman jayo is ensuring that their pathway is clear so they could get access to their land so this basically is the issue and it's ridiculous and what is happening here is i pass and it's i pass because the only thing uh one could could think about and could come to any one mind that looking at the people standing around me is that why they're in the Guyanese and the next thing is because they're poor poor and because they're poor and the PPP believe uh, nobody will come and, and listen to them listen to the plight because they're just poor they're living behind God back too nobody don't care about this area however the rich people concerned about this area now because it now becoming it now becoming an, an area which person um, is in demand because it's now a populated area. So when people was braving it 50 years ago, I come to live here, squat here, and settle here. When it was no road, no water, no light, and of course there is no water and light. However, there is road. When people brave those conditions to come and live here, also it was very treacherous. It's dangerous to live in a situation like this because. Uh, the uh, of the wildlife also because they had snakes and kind mines and all sorts of reptiles and of course had criminals also could have come and attack you easily so people brave all of that now when the sweat all those sweat all those years over 50 years the tile this land they prepare this land they do whatever they need and in, in 50 minutes the NDC could send an individual or individuals down here and demolish people's dreams and that is that that is the i pass and that is why the residents out here is so angry and perturbed with the pppc administration and the government every one of them are silent they're in the homes they're comfortable in the homes they're not speaking out because you know why they're very shame they're very shameful of this act that they own people have done today is the 22nd of december 2014 two days for christmas where this woman and her two children and her five brothers will go you see where they have to sleep so we got to speak to the brothers. You got to listen once again and see the faces of all those that are affected by this situation here of the NDC coming into uh, Perico Fusil area and demolishing building left, right and center. And I'm going to tell you why I say left, right and center. This woman here was living in the center. Her brothers was living on the left. And that house over there is on the right. And that house over there I understand it was given warning on Thursday when they demolished these three houses that that will be the next home that will go. So uh, the question is who will be next and why they cherry picking and the houses that they will demolish. And I keep saying and residents must understand what is the meaning of legitimate expectation. Okay and legitimate expectation is you have a belief you have a right. And that right of believing is the right of having legitimacy and of course you have the law behind you. You could go in any court and say the relevant authority give you the expectation this property belongs to you and that law, that court will have to give you that right and that justice and say yes you were right, you were correct. So let us speak to this lone female that build this um, home that we are standing this is only the only thing remain here is this uh, slab of concrete that now uh, that is now the the ruins of her dreams that it took some time to build uh, tell me again your plight and your plight is that today you're without a home 
You have this eight month year old baby and you have your son three, year old. three years old. And tell me how uh, how you making out since Thursday? Where are you where are you sleeping? I'm making out a punishing, a hardly eating, and I in a whole set of stress. I could hardly sleep on a Where are you sleeping? Is that yes. there where you're sleeping? There is where you're sleeping on With your two your two children? Yeah. You don't have a stove. You went to collect your no, stove. I just buy food sometimes. Sometimes you I went to collect your stove. No, me went to collect nothing. You went to collect your utensil. Nothing. 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 You don't know if this destroy if it's stolen or what. It's destroy because my child father been and see the bed and some break up and everything. And he ain't collect nothing because he said the bed and some break up and he ain't collect nothing because he want to see what kind of justice we can get. And if I collect it, we ain't gonna put it in there. I can't, they can't fit in there because it's not a little bit stuff I got, they get plenty stuff. So, we asking again, we appealing to Mr. President Dal Ramatar and the First Lady, dear Lachmi Ramatar. Are we appealing to those in authority, like the various ministers, the Minister of Housing, Mamed Ali. We appealing to Priya Manichan Morley, a woman that speak about women's rights. Only the other day, I heard there was an interview on radio with uh, Priya Manichan Mori, Minister of Education and uh, AP and U Member of Parliament, Valda Lawrence, speaking about women's rights. They're speaking about rape and they're speaking about other things about women. What is Valda Lawrence going to say about this situation? What Priya Manichan Mori going to say about this situation? What the PPP body that look after women's rights? The women arm of the PPP and the, the and the women and gender equality commission headed by the wife of the late Navin Chandrapal, uh, his wife of course you know Indra Chandrapal and what are they saying about this and this is what we want to know what is the MP the two MPs for the PPP is doing about this this is region 3 the PPP won here overwhelmingly. The APU barely get one seat in this area, an area which have three parliamentary seats. And the two MPs are Bibi Shadik, who of course is a woman, Komal Chan, who of course represent the king cutters of this country. And you never heard about them. These people don't even know who's the president. They probably the the pronounce his name barely. But if they could, if if they if they have this difficulty with the president and in terms of identifying him and pronouncing his name, you think they know who's the MP? You y'all any anyone y'all know who's Komal Chan or no. Bibi Sharik? No. But y'all voted for the PPP, and when y'all voted for the PPP, the people put Komal Chan and Bibi Sharik to responsible for y'all. Every single problem y'all you had, y'all supposed to go to them. No, y'all don't know who's these people. But these people receiving a fat salary every month. To represent you okay and then of course you have uh, a level of government which you call regional government again y'all were to be voting for them that is why the PPP control this region and then of course we have a local government where this man Jayo is the chairman uh, which I don't think you had voted for him or many people would have voted for him wrong here because the last election was in 1994 so 17 years election is due for local government now one of the home that was demolished and uh, also is the, the brothers home and we have the brothers here how you feel about this situation how you feel real bad real bad i got no clothes and, for you and you have to share the situation with your sister in living yeah, in that room right tent yeah yeah you don't have no clothes you don't have no underwear yeah not for cook or not you don't have no food the president where we go live if you carry freedom also live with you there i think you should, i think you should uh, no not joking i think no, you should serious. stand up in your numbers and go to freedom house yeah, come in, we the concern, and I'm going to give you full support. And of course, we have one individual who was not living at the time the, his, his, uh, his structure was demolished. But because of, again, legitimate expectation that Ministry of Housing and the individual by the name of Charles went to this community and gave this man a number and say, um, Sir, your number, your number is what? Your number is PF33 and if you should have you give him a number which he had written on the on the, the man land and the post, give me a number we must call and then anything Charles gave him the assurance that call, if any problem must call and report the problem of course they must call this number here and this is in Charles handwriting 
apparently Charles to the Ministry of Housing that is working with the Minister of Housing, Mohamed Ali, give these people legitimate expectation that this property, these lands here will be regularized. However, Thursday, that man uh, structure was also demolished. And again, you will see someone lying in that hammock there, a young lady. That individual was also give notice that uh, that that home will be demolished. I understand. They have a young man who built a structure, a concrete structure. You could see it there. Come. You build a structure there, yeah. and after you saw this here being demolished on Thursday, what is your expectation? What is your fears? The expectation that me next will block next. Just like current block them people say they can block me, I just stop build. Because it makes sense I waste X amount of thing and I build, and somebody block me thing because it never end nice. And you also was given a number, right? I am in number 30. Number 30. Yeah. All the numbers are there. All the numbers are there. All the numbers are there. Mr. Sharma, them things they say cost money to build. People just, people just work many years. And some of them for a month, some of them can't stay for $100. Because the cost of living here, so it's very hard for people. Then they give all the insurance. You want to get this land. That's why people decide to invest for bill. And now when you build now, you see people come just and say this land was them one, but this land is not them land. This is a reserve, and if, if the right way, if them want this land, it's actually block one head come down. They can't come there like a center and block three buildings, Mr. Sharma. This is totally wrong. This is I pass. This money very paid for this thing happening, so. What Why you, them people what, just want people for do? What you did for accumulate money to put up this structure, what work you do? Well, I just work. In the jungle, something is risking my life fell in lag. Because that most of that they work with is or something is build hogs, we don't care about talk, we don't we didn't work because and all that little more, saving you yeah, come and you put up you come yes. put up this little structure here. Yes, put up a little structure here. No one come and destroy it. Me is not a rich person, I got wife and three children for mine. I gotta send it to school. Yeah, he very hard. How many children you have? Three. Three. And three you're renting a, a place. And right meantime, up you're renting a place. And you meantime you're trying to construct this thing. Yeah. So what message do you have for the president? So the Dan the president right now, I want to think them build back, boss. Because I work hard for them, put them things to the spot. Then. But you're not just fighting for yourself, you're fighting for this young man who don't know when they will come and break his own. You're fighting for that woman there who don't want to speak on the camera. Who, no, she, who, I don't want to scared. break another it's house, it's house. not Why another house in this neighborhood. I don't want the, the, the because this, this is a pass and there was totally something that was member in the party he and then frightening to come broke out broke now and lose a job. So you're telling me that young lady she don't want to speak to me because she's a, she, 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 be, she linked to the to Freedom House. To yeah. be something but like she was also giving warnings. She getting warnings. But that is only that was only for uh, for make y'all feel comfortable that because she's a PVP we giving she warnings. Yeah. But her house would not be touched. So you think it's some way indirectly driving fear into people? You better go and register with the PVP and hold a party card, else your place is going to be demolished next. You think this is the situation? And I believe this is the situation. Because this young lady says she voted for the PPP, but she don't hold a party card. Yeah. There are brothers, the same thing. But they don't hold a party card. Apparently, those who hold party cards, the house don't would not be touched. You know? So this is the situation here. Apparently they're driving fear in the residence of Perica facade and probably on the wider and wider areas of Perica. That if you don't support the PPP and hold a party identification card, that when they come around, your house will be next. Yeah. So this is a fear and this should not be. This should not be. You voted for a government not just because of the people who supported your whole party card, but have to represent the entire nation. So yes, I, I, I take that on board and you said, sir, you don't want to see no other Not another house home in this neighborhood. Break up. What do you think the people should do? In terms of the I community. I think the community people should again. come out come out and and come out as as one, as a unity and and, and, and talk to, to the, the authorities about this matter and let and this eh, this matter eh? It's, it's totally nonsense what Gohani. I don't like what Gohani. I was not wrong. I come I come back only day before yesterday. When I come back, I see this thing happen. And if I was, if, if I'm saying, if I, I if I was, was wrong here, I would have able to get out everybody out, out here so, and, and, let, and, 
and let us say so they stop. coming back into the area and threatening y'all. Well, nobody can't manage. come to me and threaten me because I, do, I don't take things easy. But that is you. What about, what about right? the others? Mr. I don't Mr. take Mr. things Mr. easy. Nobody. Nobody. Everybody yeah. run. We have to all as a unity. Everybody have to come together. And, and this nonsense here have to stop. What do you think is the solution to this uh, harassment of the residents in this area here? Well, we got to get the government out of uh, 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 power. You think the people need to come together? You mentioned an important word, the coming together of heads. You need people to stand up for we the We need right. unity. People frightened, people, people scared. Look, A lot of people scared of being victimized. Don't want to because they're scared. Everybody in this place scared. But I don't scare nothing. They're frightened victimization. And if we should come nothing. together, these things can't happen. It could never happen. Because we are the government. We are the people. The people yeah. is the government. The people is what put them there. And you, you, you two was wanted to say something uh, so, before? Mr. Sharma, what me can say, right? This Christmas coming. Get them people in here. Christmas is so coming next, next, next couple months or now. No, I know. Like Christmas, Christmas is next two days. Two from days. Now. Well, next two days for now. Where you can see them people must live in our, our entire Christmas day time right now. But you can't see nothing. What are going to happen in the next two days in a condition like this? Well, unless it's America. I, what are we wanting? This girl barn right here. The barn and right grow right here. Right, 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 right here, this girl barn and grow up. And this right is right and This is where she neighbor shrink there. This is she bought, right? It's like taking away somebody road, bought right from them. No road in when they, this, this when, was when we mud. live here, all here was sheer mud oh. and bush. All over was sheer bush. Nobody never know that they had a piece of land here or nothing. And this girl house break on the reserve, not on this people land where they claim. Look, you understand? And I don't feel the government know about what I know. This is the I don't know, business. maybe. I, 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 this is I hear you, business. I hear you, and, I don't, and you don't want to blame the government, but you believe the government is uh, not aware, but they're fully well aware. Uh, look at this structure here. This is half in steel. Yeah. Uh, Quarter inch store up. Uh, cement, stone, very good quality work, a septic tank. This was the contractor that did some of the work. I built a septic uh, tank. He said it only lasts few days. Yeah, when, he said it, last, was about when he said it lasts few days, it's not because of poor quality work. It's because somebody took a sledgehammer no. and dis dismantled it. So this thing costs money. It, it costs money. And government don't work, it don't, don't work like that. You see most things where they build. You don't build like that something. You pay a sun, you just see. But this feeling totally I pass, people come and this do this is, thing here. This, this totally I pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an NV Last Sunday I spoke to Mr. Jayo, the um, NDC chairman on the road, right here. He, he asked him um, if he could show me his court order that he had for destroyed property. His words to me, he didn't have to show me no court order that he working with Ramutar Ardo. Well, you see, well, you see, you just uh, that was his word. You just the government instead of don't know. See, I don't know. And here is a part of authority. And here this, and here this man is saying okay. that Jayo, the, so the, the NDC chairman, is saying he's working, working with. with Ramatar, the president's order. Well, I didn't hear that, that is why he have the. But that is why he have this power. He wasn't here. Wasn't that is why he have power to say to Faber, who is the chairman of the RDC, to shut his mouth and stay quiet. NDC. Yes. Yeah. So when I talk to you, after you tell me that, me, me go on my way. You understand? But you see, they believe you don't know your rights. I understand they come and threaten this young lady, two children, 22 years old, and they say we have a court order to demolish this building. The young lady, I understand, did ask where is the document, and they say we don't have it. So here again, I hope the Chancellor of the Judiciary, Carl Singh, and the acting chief justice ian chan listen to what is happening here because apparently there's official of the ndc walking about this community of perico facade saying to them they have a court order issued by some judge and of course they don't want to show the people it so i believe this question needs to be also taken to the judiciary judiciary need to come and uh, clear and clear itself if they issue any court order to demolish anybody property and this reserve here. So yes. Yes, I also went to the um the office of Lenora, the, the PVP the office. I met two of the um, officials there and when I, I report the matter to, to them, they sent me to the chairman from um, region three. Right? They said they're aware of what the man doing and his action is illegal. That was their word to me. That's the business. Yeah.
Want waar naar je actie? Of ook die um the documents he got from court. He said he walking with Ramatar Ardas. That was his word to me. Sonne on the road. Well, what you hear in here? Let me just put it in simple terms. The PPP have the party office, which is headed. I I understand by Mamid Ali, Minister of Housing. His office is at Lenore there. We, you're going to see it. You're looking at it right now. This is the office of the PPP, which is representing Region 3. And you see all the faces of the nice people there. Some of them dead people. Most of them are dead people. And this man here is saying that he took it on himself to go and find out from this office here, this PPP office, uh, about the in who gave the instruction about the destruction of the property in this area here. And lo and behold, this individual was told that the action of Mr. Jayo was illegal and they were looking to it but this Jayo, the NDC chairman is saying to this same man that the president of the country Donald Ramatar gave him the instruction so what Mr. President will do what Mr. President Donald Ramatar will do about this NDC chairman Jayo going around telling people when he do wrong things that the president tell him to do it so I hope to see some action from Mr. President Donald Ramatar and also some action from the court because the court has to tell us if indeed they issue some court order to de demolish this property and if indeed the residents don't have the right to ask to inspect this court order so these are the violations of the people constitutional right so yeah see all said when Ramutar come down Parika he just go by his house in Parika back now and take lunch so apparently like they are very close that is very true well, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This, in, this individual, this individual, this individual with his own word, or with his own mouth, is condemning himself. Implicating the Honorable President, His Excellency Donald Ramatar, saying that the President is going to eat in his house. And because the President is going to eat in his house, he could do whatever he wants to do. So, this is very serious allegation here. Mr. President Donald Ramatar, and let us hear what you're going to do with this man going about telling people he's feed you, and because he's feed you, he control you. Okay, so this is very serious. What does this man say to you? Well, that, that was it. I wasn't a long conversation with him when I went away. Because maybe if I stand up like the next few minutes, something the police had to kill me. Because there's not something easy for face to see somebody demolish a brand new structure like this. This is nonsense. This is total this is nonsense. Totally look the quality of look the quality um, of the product use. Look. Green heart, concrete steel. And it's I understand from the woman that they carry away some of the material. Yeah, a lot of the material. We're we looking at the door here. A brand yeah, new door. A brand new door. Look what it is for this door here. A door like this is like about is like about uh, thousand dollars for a door like this. A brand new door. A pine door. Is it not doors? It might be a little more cheaper. Probably eleven thousand. They even refuse you to give you the bottles for you for this little baby, it might be able to drink the tea. It's very it's very sad to know what happened here. And of course when this program is aired, the Guyanese people and the people Guyanese that live in abroad are going to know about the plight the poor people have to face in Perico, yes, Fasi and other parts of the country. So here where we are going to conclude the program. If anyone Saturday. wants to say anything else, uh, you please and please do so. You're free to do so. The people burn and go away. They're taking away your board rights. We, why saying if you burn at a place and you grow here, so this is your board right. We con we contribute all the energy and everything to the development of this country. We never left this place to go foreign or no way. And everything what we think is for this country. And people come in and take away your board right. This girl burn here. She burn here and grow up right here. She neighbor string berry right here and on the me, same spot. Let us get some of the, the old folks. You know this this young lady born here. You know her mother live in the same spot. Yes. Who else? I don't know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. This this young lady grew up. She born here. Your mother was here. here. She grew up uh -huh. here. She grew up she here. Make right she, here. She, she make her children right here. Right here. Grow up. 
And who is the was who was the person? The, you know the name. The person say that the, the, they own this plot of land behind you. You know the oh, person. Edward name? Peters. Edward Peters. Edward Peters. Edward Peters say Edward. they own that land. <laughs> yeah. And they live in some way overseas. The woman some going farm. overseas she be like so farm. She live in that farm. But she just go overseas, spend many time, and then come up. Yes. Y'all ever see this person? Yes. They ever they, they yes. ever come and do any? Yeah, they come and thing here. Cut the line and. and yeah. They not need. They be come and do any. This is what they come and do here. Nobody do any. They come and break down this place. But they come and clean, 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 clean that jungle. No, no, they don't know about bush. Nobody ever plant bush. So nobody don't. They wasn't utilizing the land. This place was sheer mud, mud and bush. We know that. Right. You were telling me Since something. this road thing, then the thing. When I heard this, this house breaking, when I called Miss Ross in housing, and I asked her, she said she didn't know nothing about this what happening in here, so Because them who give the insurance that we go, go to get them this resolve, because when they come in number this house, eh, say so this have a call she back when, when they hear this, this thing broke, because I walk on the road. When I took her, she said she didn't know nothing about this what going on. It was totally wrong too. This thing what I was telling you again, this broken what broken here. This guy be Jay will take this thing off his own because he have to must get money to do this part what you do here. Because this part what you what happen, this is not fair. Legal. This is not fair. This is illegal. Okay, well here we gonna conclude the program. You wanna say anything before we close up? Because it was you in particular we come to visit because it was yeah, it was very it was very home. sudden. To see what happened to you, with you being a young mother, 22 years old, an eight month year old child, a three year, and a three year old. Uh, and this is the reason why I took the time and effort to leave Georgetown in its hectic traffic conge congestion, spending three hours to travel from Georgetown to, to Perico Fusade just to come to speak with you. So, because of you, uh, we get to understand of the plight of not just yourself, your brother, and neighbor, and some other residents. Who who may be shortly be demolished yeah. if they don't hold a party card. So tell me what you finally have to say. I finally have to say, well, I'm back my home, Dama Ramatar and the First Lady, please build back my home because that is your decision. Both of y'all decision for make me home break down and I need it back. I want it for me and my family because it's our home. I live in there and the I own the, me and deserve the, I had me building and I want it back because I work for what I deserve and I build it on my own. No president or nobody and they give me it. I work for it and I want it back because this is not me supposed to live in though. This is what they must deserve for living. Because I deserve a better thing because I had a better thing in life and I want it back. Okay. So, Mr. President, I remember a number of things were said here, and I understand this Chairman Jayo, the NDC Chairman, is implicating you, sir. You, the President of this country, saying that you went to his house, or you usually go to his house and eat out of his plate, and you give him instruction to demolish his house. So what action you would take? So the residents of Perica, the people of Guyana, want to see what action Mr. President Ramtar will take from this NDC chairman is going about using your name when he's doing bad things. So you, you, you said in this period of caring and sharing and love and peace and harmony and giving, well, I'm asking you with all those words that you use and you say when people ask you about your three years tenure in office, you said it was mixed. We know you're a mixed man, but we don't know how to mix what you're talking about. However, the people want you because you speak, you're the president, you're the father of the nation. You speak about this period of Christmas, it's Christmas and Christmas is about love, unity, harmony, giving, caring. How could you apparently, allegedly give this individual the instruction to demolish his home? If you didn't, what you could do for this family, for this woman, 22 years old, Guyanese, or two children, a uh, son, three years old, and next baby, Sorry. eight months hey, hey, hey. old. What would you do for them? These children, one of them could be the next president of the country. And what will be their future if you don't give them this chance of having a good life? What would you do for these children? Would you give them a good Christmas? Would you instruct your Minister of Finance 
Dr. Ashley Singh, just as it was said, and you said it, sir, with your own mouth, that you gave him authorization to go into the consolidated fund and take out $4.555 billion and spend it. Would you give the Minister of Finance, my friend Dr. Ashley Singh, the authority to go into the consolidated fund and take out the $5 million or more and give this woman what she justly deserves? Or you ask the Minister of Housing, who's also my friend Mohammed Ali, to give her one of those ready-made house, the turnkey house, so her family could be settling in the house in the next 24 hours. Would you do this? Thank you. When President... So you, you tell me, how old are you? Me? 62. 62? Right. And you live in here for quite some time, right? Me live in here over far. How, how you come and reach this land? With big, big bamboo tree all over. We had to take sack and we saw the bamboo tree for clear yes, And what and comfort do you get from then government, the PNC government? What well, they told you? The PNC government come, the president. Barnum? Right, and we taxi, we sell this place and there's enough of us got to eat. And he gonna tell me, Bill Langs is vacant land. And since we build, Nobody will come to we or nothing. He said it's vacant land you build. We land, land to see he said, vacant land. He said land belongs to the tiller. For the poor people. <laughs> and for the poor. Right. And we build. But there, there was a jungle anyway. And it, all over was but jungle. But I understand you have a councillor that from the NDC. Uh, Zina. Zina. It's threatening residents here that after the PPPC win the next election. <laughs> Uh, whenever the next election would be, the next general election, that every single house here will be demolished. Right. Is this so? Yes. yes. This same Zina, I went here earlier when the NDC was taken away, I uh, think about, uh, about 10 feet of land from the people that occupying the reserve. They was taken away 10 feet of land from the back of the people to put a 4 feet drain. Hello. And when we visit that uh, location, which is up in front, uh, we were told that it was because uh, some private developer have a housing scheme at the back and they don't want their place to be flooded so they have to build a four feet drain around the perimeter of the land and then we was told by the residents then about this Dina so I know of this Dina and this Dina the residents show me that this Dina built a shop and on the shop is the reserve so they have the beer garden there and it's the reserve right there. So the NDC Council Zina is also infringing on the reserve and it's breaking the law. But they don't see that. They're going about threatening uh, our citizens of this country, the poor people. Uh, when the PUP win the next election, they're going to demolish the houses. This is not right. If the PUP win or lose or whoever should be the next government, the right thing to do is to regularize these land. And I think we must commend um, Mohammed Ali, Minister of Housing, and Charles, to giving the people some hope. Now they went here and they marked on these, uh, these, these little homes, these little house, these little shack. They mark a number PF 38, 39, 40, and so. So, which is commendable. But then we have an NDC chairman saying that the said PVP government, and he's calling name, he's saying the president of the country. His Excellency Dan Ramatar tell him to break down that poor young lady home. So this is the I pass and we hope Mr. President will take action. As we stand here this afternoon, uh, you will see work is, is being conducted. You've seen um, the, the, the PPP, the local government authority is now building this dam here. They build, they use the making road, which is good. These are good development. However, when they make this road and they make it attractive to the rich, then what's going to happen to these people who's on the reserve over there? They will have to break. So this, this is the problem. So these people toil on this land for so many years, 50, in excess of 50 years, 50 odd years. After cutting the bamboos, cutting the bushes, cleaning the land, leveling the land, building the land because it was actually swamp. So they had to fill this land. Now 50 years after, they're going to come and say, you're no longer entitled to this property, you're living in reserve. So this is the I pass and the I pass must stop. And some of the residents here, believe it or not, understand the right and they understand the people is the government and it's people power. The people put the government there and the people could remove the government. So they're saying to the government, they're warning them, 
if you don't respect them and treat them with respect the people then the people shall remove you when the next election comes so I'm gonna ask you a question when the next election should come what 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 would be the situation when they come and, and, and ask you for your vote would you vote for them no 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 we don't vote for them we ain't voting for nobody no 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 so here, this woman here, 62 years old, is complaining about certific birth certificate. And you know Rohi, General Secretary CJ Rohi, have, have the, the GRO, the General Registrar Office staff going into the interior to register our native brothers and sister. But they can't come in an area, a populated area, and give people uh, the same service. What is 60 years for being a BNIS? No, me can't get it up to now. I mean, walking, I sickly. Me lately, me losing my sight. Well, Dr. Roger Lanchon, this woman is like you. She's blind. She's getting there. Okay? So, you're the head of NIS, and I think you should look after the the people of your age category. However, I'm 40 years old, and I'm up here. I'm speaking to young and old. I'm doing the work that you guys are supposed to be doing. So, get off your seats in your nice AC office and come and walk you the ground listen to the people and deal with the issues I'm very I'm very disturbed presently to hear that this woman served 30 years how much? 22 22 years of Gaisuku today she don't have a board certificate to receive her NIS pension this is very ridiculous in this day and age when, I, when NIS is saying, you know what, we're going to computerize, we're going to computerize and no one, no one contribution will be wrong no longer. This woman can't get her contribution from NIS because the GRO can't do the work and give this woman her birth certificate. But GRO is going into the interior, the Amerindian community, which I have no problem with, and care the entire office for do registration for election purpose. <laughs> Me get for vote or not? Alright, you can vote. You can vote like that. Me need one vote.